Dearest one, in the core of your being, what is it that your heart yearns for at this precise moment? Cast aside the thoughts of your mind, the constraints of your current situation, and the expectations imposed by society. Reflect on what you deeply desire for yourself, unhindered by any obstacles. Often, we find ourselves relentlessly pursuing things that, upon attainment, fail to bring the joy we anticipated. This pursuit can be misguided, as the fulfillment we seek does not always match our initial expectations. Consider the common chase after wealth. Many individuals strive for financial gain, believing it will bring contentment. However, when they reach their monetary goals, they find their desire only grows. They might not realize that their true pursuit is for a sense of security, which they have mistakenly equated with wealth accumulation. Similarly, there are those who long for a connection with a particular person. Yet, once in a relationship, they discover that it does not bring the happiness they expected. The underlying desire is not for the person per se, but for love, for emotional fulfillment. It is essential to discern our true desires, to understand what drives our quests. For instance, in my own life, I seek love, tranquility, and emotional fulfillment. I desire the freedom to live life according to my own terms and to have financial security. I have associated my emotional contentment with the presence of my beloved, so when asked what I want, I may simply state that I wish for my significant other to be by my side. Upon profound reflection, once you grasp the essence of what you desire, you can then set forth to attain exactly that. Life, in its simplicity, becomes far more navigable when we are clear about our objectives. We observe individuals who, despite their wealth and being with their desired partner, live in discontent because they have not identified their true desires. In the rush of existence, we seldom pause to delve deeply into such contemplations about life. Engrossed in the same race as the masses, we ignore the individuality of our aspirations. It is crucial for each person to take a moment of solitude to ponder on their genuine desires. Avoid the temptation to name a person or any superficial target because ultimately, what we seek is an experience, a feeling. We yearn to feel a certain way through the things we manifest in our lives, it is these emotions that we truly desire. To understand the profundity of this concept, approach it with an open mind and consider what it is you wish to feel. Is it security, love, or perhaps a sense of achievement? By placing emphasis on the emotional outcome rather than the physical acquisition, we align ourselves closer to our heart's true calling. Therefore, it is of paramount importance to recognize and articulate the feelings we seek to experience. This self-awareness enables us to pursue goals that resonate with our innermost needs, rather than being swept away by external influences or fleeting whims. To navigate life's journey with clarity and purpose, we must first understand ourselves. This understanding comes from introspection, from asking the difficult questions about what we truly want and from distinguishing between our desires and the societal norms that often dictate them. As we embark on this exploration of self, we may discover that our desires are not as complex as we once thought. Perhaps what we seek is not a laundry list of achievements or possessions but rather a state of inner peace and satisfaction. By identifying and focusing on the emotions we wish to cultivate, we can make more intentional choices that lead us towards a fulfilling and authentic life. In essence, the pursuit of happiness is not about the external markers of success we chase after but about the internal fulfillment we seek. Understanding this distinction is the key to living a life aligned with our true desires. So, take the time to listen to your heart, to decipher its whispers, and to honor its wishes. In doing so, you may discover that what you seek has been within you all along. Lately, there's an overwhelming sensation that sweeps over me, 
a yearning so profound it's as though my very spirit desires to take flight directly into your embrace. Have you ever pondered, my dearest, whether you'd be there to catch me should I surrender to this impulse and soar into your waiting arms? Our exchanges, once frequent and direct, have dwindled, leaving a void that beckons urgently for genuine, soul-to-soul -soul dialogue. Time has elongated the space between our conversations, and in its passage, a multitude of unsaid words have accumulated, like snowflakes on a winter's eve. It's as if our very hearts are parched lands, yearning for the rain of transparent and open communication to quench their thirst. The labyrinth of our interactions is strewn with questions longing for answers, feelings that clamor for revelation, and truths that demand to be aired. I find myself craving not just a moment, but a cascade of moments where our hearts can dance in unison, uninterrupted, sharing the quality time that seems to have become a rare commodity. To gaze into the windows of your soul, to utter the words that have been fermenting in the depths of my heart, to lay bare my sincerest emotions, this is what I yearn for. I long to be in your presence, to rest my head upon your lap and to feel the gentle caress of your hands as they grace the contours of my face. There's an earnest desire within me to intertwine my fingers with yours, to press my lips tenderly to the center of your palm, and to savor the sweetness of a date where we are enveloped in each other's company, cherishing the precious moments that unfurl. Our souls have always been adept at bridging the distance, whispering to each other in a silent, telepathic language. Yet, there are days when this ethereal connection feels insufficient, and the need for tangible, face-to-face -face interaction becomes as critical as air to lungs. Sometimes, the pull towards you is so magnetic, so forceful, it evokes a peculiar sensation within my chest, akin to the tautness one feels stretching an elastic band to its limits. Reflecting on this, I wonder, should I gather my belongings and journey to your doorstep? Would you be there to swing open the door, to welcome me into the warmth of your world? The thought alone of such a reunion propels me to cast aside all else, to envelop you in an embrace so tight, to simply hold you and let our gazes lock in a silent conversation. This longing has taken on a life of its own, it's an insatiable hunger to be near you, to feel your physical presence. On days like today, when I am brimming with need and a touch of clinginess, I dream of showering you with affection, planting gentle kisses on your cheeks, your forehead, your lips, and losing ourselves in hours of tender cuddling. There's a whimsical wish that dances in my mind, imagining you as diminutive as a piece of candy, small enough to tuck into my pocket and carry with me wherever I go. In this fantasy, we would never have to endure the pangs of separation, I could shield you from any prying eyes or disapproving glances, keeping you safe from the world that doesn't always understand the depth of our connection. It's a hope that borders on magic, a fervent wish to materialize before you, to envelop you in a heartfelt hug that speaks volumes without uttering a single syllable. The thought of such an encounter fills me with a sense of urgency, a passionate desire to bridge the divide that separates us physically to break through the barriers and finally be reunited.